If you want to 10x your efficiency when drafting Word documents, and you are one of the lucky people who has a co-pilot for Microsoft 365 applications license, then this lesson is for you. I'm going to show you how to work smarter, not harder in Word by getting Copilot to draft your documents for you. So, you know, you can spend more time browsing the internet looking for a funny meme to send your cousin. We'll also see how we can use Copilot to quickly summarize long documents, ask our document questions, modify paragraph text, and at the end, I'm going to throw in a little extra something something and show you how you can use Copilot for Bing, that's the free version, to generate a fun composite image to spice your document up. So we've got a lot to do. Let's get going. Now, the first thing we can get Copilot to help us out with is drafting a document. So I'm sure we've all had those days where we create a blank Word document and we sit there for 10 minutes staring at it, not entirely sure how to start our document off. And this is what Copilot is brilliant for. We can give Copilot an idea and the more detailed you make that idea, the better your draft is going to be, and it will write the document for us. And remember, we can use this simply as a base because we can modify and edit the text. Now, when you open up Copilot, remember, you need to make sure that you're logged into the correct account that's attached to your Copilot license. Otherwise, your Copilot icon is going to be greyed out. And notice in the middle on the page here, we have select the icon or press Alt plus I to draft with Copilot. So you have two options. And this really depends if you are a mousy clicky type of a person or if you are a keyboard shortcut lover. I'm going to click on the icon to open the draft with Copilot window. And this is pretty much as you would expect. We simply type in or describe what we'd like to write and we can include notes or an outline and then Copilot can help generate a draft to get us started. So let's say that I want to create a rough outline for a crime novel that I'm planning to write. I can use Copilot to help get me started and give me some ideas. So I'm going to click in the draft with Copilot box and we're just going to say something really basic. Write me an outline for a crime novel. Notice that with these prompt areas, we have 2000 characters for our prompt. So I could be a lot more descriptive just to save a bit of time. We're just going to type something basic. Let's click on generate. Now, the more detail you give your prompt, obviously, the better the results going to be. We can see here it's inputting this information into a document. It's called A Deadly Affair. It's a gripping crime novel with a shocking twist. Don't they all have a shocking twist at the end? And you can see what it's done. So it's given me a nice outline. I have a plot summary. Alice, a successful lawyer, is married to Mark, a wealthy businessman, but their marriage is unhappy and full of secrets. Of course it is. So we have a nice outline of the plot summary. And then we have some information about the main characters in this story. And then finally, at the end, we have a list of possible plot twists, which I absolutely love. So this would be a great jumping off point if you were in fact writing some kind of crime novel or book. Now notice at the bottom here, and I'm just going to move this little pane up. Now that we have our text in the document, we have a few different options. We can choose to keep it. So if we like what it's generated, that's what we would click. Alternatively, if we want to see some different versions of this text of this novel, we could choose the regenerate button. And what will happen is it will just regenerates a new draft, which will be slightly different to the draft previously. And you can carry on going, generating as many drafts as you like. You can then scroll through the different drafts and choose the one that you want to keep. Alternatively, if I wanted my draft to have a different tone, I could type into this box just here, make it more sinister or make it more professional, make it more formal, make it more casual. And then I can regenerate the draft again. So I'm just going to say make it more sinister and then I'm going to click on the arrow to refine that draft. Now I can actually see what it's done to make this whole plot summary just that little bit more sinister. If you take a look at the first line, it now says Alice, a successful lawyer, is married to Mark, a wealthy businessman, but their marriage is a nightmare of abuse, blackmail and betrayal. It does sound like a nightmare, to be fair. So that is Copilot rewriting this with a more sinister tone. And every time we generate a new version, we can toggle between these versions. So you can see three of three. If I want to go back to the previous one or the first one that we did, I can go back to it and choose to keep it. Now, I actually like the third version. So let's go for that and let's choose keep it. 
And there we go. In a matter of seconds, I have a sinister and slightly disturbing crime novel in the making. Let's take a look at some other things that we can do with Copilot in Word. Now, we can use Copilot to rewrite a paragraph of text or visualize something as a table. And these are two really cool little options. So let's take a look at them. So what we can do here is I'm going to get Copilot to change the wording of this subheading up here. I'm happy with the title. I quite like a deadly affair, but I want to see what other options I have for the subtitle. So what we can do is we can select text and this could be an entire paragraph if you wanted it to be, and then click on the Copilot icon at the side. And notice we get two options, rewrite with Copilot or visualize as a table. Now we're gonna come on to that in a moment. For the time being, let's choose rewrite with Copilot. So Copilot is going away and it's drafting some rewrites and it's going to give me some options to change this subheading. And one thing I have found with this is that it does tend to struggle if you have formatting applied to your text. So for example, if I try to do this or rewrite some of the bullet points below, I found that it doesn't actually let you because of those bullet points. So to use the rewrite function at the moment, it seems to be that the text needs to be fairly plain. So you can see here I have my results and I've got three options, a captivating thriller with an unexpected turn. What's the next one? A thrilling crime story with an unexpected turn. So they're fairly similar, but they are slightly different. And the third one is a captivating crime novel with a surprising twist. So you can simply go through and choose which one you prefer. So I think I'm gonna go for the first one. We can then choose to replace the current text that we have selected, or we can insert it below. Alternatively, we can choose to adjust and modify things like the tone. So if we click on adjust, you can see, currently I'm using a neutral tone, but I could choose casual, professional, concise, or imaginative. So let's go for imaginative and then choose regenerate. And it's gonna go away and it's going to rewrite that line of text, but in a more imaginative way. So there we go, a crime novel that will keep you hooked and stun you with a surprise. Let's take a look at the next one, a thrilling mystery book that will stun you with a surprising turn. And then the final one, a sinister mystery that will leave you speechless. I like that one. Let's click on replace to replace that subheading. So that is your second option. You can use Copilot to rewrite paragraphs of text, but those paragraphs must be fairly plain and not be in a table or contain bullet points. Now, the other thing we can do in here is if we scroll down, let's go down to this area here, possible twists. Notice that I have these listed out as bullet points. But what we can do is we can select all of the bullet points, click on the Copilot icon and choose visualize as a table. And this is a really nice quick way of just getting text into a table format. And it means you're not having to copy and paste things around as we always have had to do previously. And there you go, you can see it's building this table. It's given me three columns, person, relation, and information. And I think that looks really good. Once again, we get this little co-pilot dialog box where we can choose to keep it, or we can make edits to our table. For example, we could choose to remove a row. So maybe I could say, remove the row about Mark and click on the arrow. And now you can see it's regenerated that table, but it has removed that row. And I have the two versions listed down here. So if I then decide that actually, I want to keep the version that has Mark in it, you can see now version one has him included. I'm gonna say, keep it. And now I have my information in a table. The only disadvantage here is it doesn't actually delete the information that you've now put into a table. So you need to do that manually just by selecting it and pressing delete. And of course, now you can format this table however you like. Now, the final thing we haven't covered is what's lurking underneath the Copilot icon on the home at ribbon. So far, we've been working very much within the document itself. So let's click on the Copilot icon to open the pane on the right hand side. And notice at the top here, there's a couple of things we can do. We can summarize this document or we can ask a question about this document. So the first option here, summarize this document is particularly useful if you're trying to get a sort of a too long didn't read version of the document in front of you. So imagine having a 200 page document and you just want to summarize the key points so you don't have to read through the entire thing. This is a brilliant feature. 
Now this document isn't particularly long, but we can still summarize it. So let's click on summarize this doc. And what I might want to do while that's chugging away is come down to the bottom here and just add a summary underneath. And I'm going to give that a heading one style. So there we go. You can see what it's produced. It's got the main ideas, the main characters and the possible twists. So I can now click copy. That's going to copy it to the clipboard. Control V to paste that in. And now I have a summary of the main ideas in this particular synopsis or this outline. So let's just make those bold. And there we go. That's a lot quicker to read. So summarize this document is another brilliant feature. The final feature is asking questions. And remember, with all of these things, you get some prompt suggestions underneath, which are in context with what you've just selected. So I could choose to make the summary shorter or I could expand on the main point of the summary. So nice and simple. And remember, if you want to see all of the prompts that you have available in Word and you want to get some ideas, you can go into the Copilot lab. And we get there by clicking on View Prompts and View More Prompts. That's going to open up the Copilot lab window and it's going to show us some things that we can do. For example, explain this document in three sentences, summarize this document, list pros and cons, improve this document, so on and so forth. And with any of these little prompt templates, if you find one that you particularly like, for example, improve this document, you can click on the save prompt bookmark and then you'll find it underneath this saved prompts area just to make it really easy for you to find. So that's quite a nice thing. The final thing we're going to talk about here is just asking questions. So you can get answers based on the text within your document. Now, so far with my experimentation with Copilot in Word, I found this to be a little bit patchy. Sometimes it will give me the answer. I can ask the question again and it says it can't. So we'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. But I think this is probably one of the areas that's going to need to be improved. So I'm going to ask a very basic question. Let's just say is Mark, who's one of the characters in my novel, is he wealthy? Is he a rich man? Let's see. Let's send it through and see if it can cope with it. So this is interesting. It's per I'm sorry, but I couldn't find any information about a real person named Mark being wealthy. And that's because if it's thinking about this in the context of the wider world, Mark is a very broad term. It says, however, there is a character named Mark in your document you have been working on who is described as powerful, cruel and a wealthy businessman involved in illegal activities. Mark sounds like a nasty piece of work. But there we go. I have my answer. It's managed to pick it out of the document. Now, just to finish this lesson off, let's add some fun into our document and generate a potential cover for our book, A Deadly Affair. And to do this, I'm going to use Copilot in Bing to give me some image ideas. So I've opened up a Bing browser. You can do this from a Google browser as well. And we're going to go to copilot.microsoft.com. This is the free version of Copilot, so everybody can access this. You don't need to pay a subscription. And I would say this is the version that is most similar to the free version of ChatGPT. So at the bottom here, I'm going to be fairly broad in my prompt. I'm going to say generate an image for a crime novel called A Deadly Affair. Let's press enter. You can see that Copilot is going to have a little think about it. This can take a few seconds, but it should give me four image ideas. And I love this for generating all different kinds of composite images. So if you have something in your mind and you want an image for it and you can't find it elsewhere on free sites such as Pexels, this is the thing to use. Simply describe the image that you want and Copilot will generate one. I will say do check the image before you post it though, because sometimes it can throw up something that's a little bit funny. So people with one arm and things like that. So again, this is something that will improve over time. So here we go. It's given me a selection of different images that I could use. So if I decide that I want to use this one, I can simply click on it and I have some different options. So if I click the three dots at the top here, I could choose to edit this image in designer. I can download it. I can share it. I can copy it, so on and so forth. So let's just copy it and jump back to Word. And there we go. I'm going to press enter and then do control V and I have a nice image to illustrate my plot summary. So that is how you can utilize Copilot within Microsoft Word. I think you'll agree that by far the most useful part of this is drafting and refining your documents. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. That's it for now, guys. I will see you next time.